you all watched the video where Ms. Robbie revealed that she had been supporting her son, James Timothy Norman, while he was locked up for being accused of orchestrating the demise of his nephew and her grandson and Lass Montgomery, Andre Montgomery. In that interview, Ms. Robbie was asked about the upcoming trial and she revealed that she had little to no knowledge on account of the pandemic operating procedures and the countless delays. Here is what you need to know. All these delays have been brought to you by no other than Tim himself. This man has been through five attorneys and has filed countless motions before the court saying his team needed time to review the evidence in order to ensure that he had a fair trial. Also, his co-conspirator Wally Yanam, in the meantime, used these delays to request that he be allowed to leave the state for work and basically live his life as if he had nothing to do with this young man's passing. But I digress. So the latest is that Tim and his legal team notified the court that they wish to waive their motion that was filed challenging the sufficiency of the indictment. Tim and his legal team met on September 29th and, quote, discussed the sufficiency, legality, and or specificity of the government's indictment pertaining to his case. Their last meeting on the 29th was to confirm Tim's desire to waive filing any additional motions, which was done instantaneously, by the way. And just when you think Tim was done, enters the chat a new attorney, a Miss Gloria Rodriguez, who on October 27th filed paperwork with the court announcing that she would be representing Tim. However, a review was conducted of Miss Gloria's credentials and it was revealed that she is not a member of the St. Louis Bar. An application was sent to Miss Gloria to apply for bar admission or moving forward for Pro Hoc Vice. For those not familiar with Pro Hoc Vice, it's when an attorney is added to a case in a jurisdiction where they are not licensed to practice law. Tim and his legal team filed this motion for Ms. Rodriguez to appear pro hoc vice and once granted, she will be a part of the legal team for Tim's defense. So now that Tim has waived his delays, let's hope the trial can get on the way because Andre Montgomery needs justice. And by the way, I will be reporting on this case until that happens. What is clear to me is that with the arrival of this new attorney, Tim is using all his resources to not be convicted of this crime. Initially, when researching the latest status of this case, and I saw that he had waived his motions challenging the sufficiency, legality, etc., I thought that, well, he ran out of money. But clearly, with the arrival of this additional attorney, that's not the case. We know Miss Robbie is supporting her son emotionally through this time, and what's become painfully obvious is that she's also there financially, allegedly. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and if you haven't already, remember to like the video and subscribe. Also, turn on your notification bell and please watch when notified. It really helps out our channel. Finally, stay tuned for more, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.